everyone. Hey, how's everyone doing today? Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Uh, hey, we are recording, it's a recorded session, and you see these lights shining in our face? We can barely see those of you in the back, and hey, this is Connections, Power of Community. I'm going to ask those of you in the back, please stand and come forward, sit, there's plenty of seats here. Uh, welcome, you are here at our very first session of our developer track. This is our second year where we've had a dedicated developer track at Connections. Um, so I'm very excited to have you here. Let's level up your development experience with Guidewire. Um, Guidewire has the largest network of developers in the PNC industry. And I'm so excited to have so many of you here today. And we've got a full week of great sessions dedicated to developers. So we're going to kick things off today. I see some familiar faces. Manny, uh, Seema, hello. Darren, nice to see you. Um, yeah, it's really great spending time with you. My name is Jonathan Michael. I'm the developer evangelist for Guidewire. Um, here's a safe harbor slide. This is our first one uh, that you get to read. Let's just spend a few minutes reading through all of it, yeah? No, just kidding. Um, so. This is our legal statement. We are going to be talking about feature forward things. Um, and so this is just our reminder that we're not committing to any of these things. We're not guaranteeing any of these things. These are not promises. These are possibilities. Um, like I said, my name is Jonathan Michael. I'm the developer evangelist for Guidewire. I know several of you here in the room. It's my honor in this role to promote some of the things that we're doing at Guidewire for developers and to talk to you about those things. But probably more important than that, I really enjoy the role that I have in advocating on your behalf to Guidewire, making sure that the things that you need to be successful um, are heard and passed back to our organization at Guidewire and representing you. And I'll let Evelina Prokow, our Director of Product Management, introduce herself. Thanks, Jonathan. Hey, everybody. It's great to be here in Nashville at Connections, surrounded by developers. Uh, my role here at Guidewire is to work across our product portfolio in order to ensure that we build a great experience for you. So it's truly a privilege to be in the room with you all and to kick off our conversation. So I'm going to talk about our agenda for today and what we'll be covering in this session. Uh, we really want to help you understand how you can level up your full development experience with Guidewire, and that's in four areas. First, we're going to be talking about how you can level up your experience with our products. Then we're going to talk about how you can level up your experience using our resources to help you learn and grow. And then we'll be talking about leveling up your experience within the broader developer community. And then finally, your week here at Connections, it's an important week. We want you to have the best uh, time possible. And so we'll be talking about how you can level up your experience as a developer here at Connections. And now I'm going to hand it over to Evelina to talk about what our overall vision is for how we can help developers be successful. Evelina? Thank you. All right. So first, we want to ensure that you understand our vision for this community. There are two key tenets to our vision. Number one, we want you to be powerful in innovating in your product development experience on behalf of your customers and your companies. And we recognize that we have a room full of diverse people, and you guys have diverse sets of skills as well as different levels of experience. So we really think about you know, who we're building these products for. Additionally, we recognize that you spend your work week with us. You spend the work week with our tooling. And so that's a lot of time, and we take that responsibility seriously. And we want that experience for you to be efficient, intuitive, and we really want you to feel joyful when you're working with Guidewire. The second tenant of our vision is around community. So we think that, you know, Working, building products is meaningful to you, but we believe that it can be even more meaningful when you tap into this network of peers because we have smart, experienced, creative people in this room, and if you can work with one another, answer each other's questions, bounce off ideas, you're going to amplify one another and build even better solutions for your customers. So we want to be here to support that and connect you all. 
really the bottom line is that we want you to thrive. And we hope that at the end of all of this, you can say that you love working with Guidewire. So that's our mission, and I'm, I'm excited to be here for that. So in terms of leveling up with our products, first, in order to build great products for you, we have to put you at the center of our thinking every step of the way of the product development process. So we talk to you to get to know your problems and to learn about your ideas. We build prototypes and we test them with you in order to ensure that they work for your teams and for your workflows. We work alongside of you when we do our EA programs in order to ensure that the things that we build actually work in the wild. And these programs give you the ability to get some early access to high in demand features and of course, priceless feedback for us in order to make sure that these solutions scale. And of course, our job is not done once we deliver our products. We continue to measure for performance um, and ask about your experience in order to address any issues as they arise. We also believe that building truly great products goes beyond just getting to know you and your tasks. And this is why this year we've conducted the largest customer partner and developer survey with over 500 respondents um, and the most comprehensive set of questions yet. So this report called the 2023 PNC Developer Trends and Insights Report uh, will be available to you in just a few weeks online. But of course, while we're here, I'm going to go ahead and share a few key insights with you all. So first, you all are a global community, which is wonderful because it means that you can tap into this network no matter your time zone or your geography. But a thing to note, the largest concentrations are here in the US as well as in India and then in Canada. Um, so we definitely think about those geographies as we um, put together events. The other really special thing about Guidewire is that you all have tremendous experience. So more than half of you have over 10 years of, developer exper of development experience. And almost a quarter of you have over 20 years. So for those of you who are in the smaller group of newer developers who are new to Guidewire or new to industry, you're surrounded by a wealth of knowledge. And it would be really great for you to be able to tap into that. And then if you're on the other side of the spectrum, you're not alone. And that means you have a network of people with whom you can bounce ideas and learn about new concepts. So um, this uh, developer, so I hope you take the time to read the full report. Um, it has tremendously more information Actually, there's one more thing, a couple more things I was going to say about it. Okay, so a couple more things about this report. Um, you all are overall satisfied with your career um, with Guidewire uh, tools. However, what we do see is cor correlation with your certification and experience over time. And that means that if you're new to Guidewire, we really want to make sure that we help you get certified because we can see that reflected in your career satisfaction sentiment. And we launched this survey in order to get to know you better. So we're asking about some of your personal interests and insights. And one of the things that you told us this year is that you're most interested in working with Python in this coming year. And therefore, we're going to target our conversations to discussions around data science, integrations, automations, and generative AI in order to align your interests with what we're asking. And so I do hope you take the time to read this full report. It has more information than just what I highlighted at this moment, including some interesting information around compensation. So um, Jonathan will later show you a slide that will have a QR code for our developer newsletter. And I hope you take the time to read the full report. So some of the most meaningful 
tidbits that we get from talking to you come from our user research. And these are the things that land on our roadmap. So these are some really important conversations. Um, we do user research, both big and small. We do large stat studies spanning wide uh, ranging topics. And we do dozens of interviews. And then sometimes we do more targeted studies where we focus on a specific problem and a specific user set. So I'm going to go over just a few things that we've done this year. Um, and we'll continue that thread into our roadmap. So first, earlier, um, right around this time last year, we started a big persona and team structure study. And in that study, you all told us that you need a better experience with access management. And you need to be able to access our products on a more granular level, and you need that experience to be easier. You also talked to us about the fact that you require more transparency for cross-team collaboration. So you want to be able to see statuses of things as you work together in order to be sure that maybe something's completed um, or maybe you need to address something. We also did a DevOps experience study in the spring. In that study, you guys highlighted the importance of integrations into your tooling. Um, so you have your own tools that you use, and you want to make sure that they work well with the GuideWire tool set. You also talked to us about APIs and the fact that although our UIs address majority of your use cases, there are times when you really need to do something very specific to your company. And APIs enable you to be more flexible with our product and tooling. We also did a study recently on information architecture. Um, and you told us how you think about organizing your information, and you told us about um, how you really think in an app-centric way. So I'm very excited about this year and some of the changes that we're making to our products to make navigation more efficient, more intuitive, and to give you one smooth experience as you get started with our GuideWire products. And then we've had some more targeted studies. So we continue having conversations with you about enterprises engaged, and we continue making investments into that. We talk to you about setting variables across different planets. And then, of course, you've seen uh, some of the demos around creating new planets. So you told us that sometimes I need a new environment in order to troubleshoot something. And I don't want to wait for GuideWire to set that up for me. So we've tested those workflows with you, and now um, this workflow th and this feature is available. All right, so hopefully some of the things I was just talking about in our user research res resonated with you. Um, you know, these are exactly the same things that you were thinking. And therefore, you know, what's next? So I hope that you continue the conversation with us and sign up for user research in order to do prototype, prototype testing and ensure that the solutions that we are building do work for your teams. Then if you're one of these people who said, hey, that's really interesting, but there are some things that I'm experiencing that I didn't hear you talk about, well, that's actually really important, and we want to know your point of view. Um, so this is why we have this QR code here, and we have a uh, preferential user research list. We hope that you sign up for it. There is um, a question there around frequency, so don't worry. We're not going to, you know, we're going to do this at a cadence that's comfortable for you. But generally what we see is that when, once people get involved in user research, they really enjoy the conversation. They're really excited to co-create these products with us, and they're really looking forward to doing the next session with us. Of course, there are other ways that you can have a conversation with us, and you should continue using whatever channels are most comfortable for you. So whether you're talking to your TAMs or customer success, we're having conversations with them in order to get this information back to us as we develop the products. We do ticket analysis. Our products have surveys where you can leave a satisfaction score and you can leave comments. And I promise you, we read every single comment that you leave for us. And then, of course, you're all here today at Connections. And so definitely connect with us in person. 
come by the Guidewire product lodge. Jonathan and I will be there at the networking sessions at 3 p.m. each day. So as you're watching the slide populate with features, every single one of these features was a result of direct feedback from you. Now, this is a small subset of product, products and a small subset of the roadmap, but I wanted to highlight to you that what you've told us last year is being built and addressed this year. So first of all, we are building a new access management tool that is going to be EA in Innsbruck, and we will continue to expand on it. We also continue investing in enterprise engaged deployment experience, and so you can see that on the, on the roadmap for Innsbruck, Jasper, and going further. Um, we're building more APIs to support you and make your work more flexible. We have also simplified our approach to lifecycle management in APD. So we've talked to you about work sets, and you've told us we want this workflow to be more similar to something we're familiar with. And so we're doing that work, and that's being launched um, GA in Innsbruck. And of course, we have the huge digital platform, which is something where we're having a continuous discussion with you, and it's all based on your feedback on modern trends. So definitely, let's keep this conversation going, let's stay connected, and that way we'll make you more powerful on our products. With that, I'll let Jonathan talk about resources. Thanks, Evelina. That's a fantastic list of features and capabilities that are a result of direct feedback. Um, now, as we talk about your developer success, uh, your experience with our products is absolutely critical, but your success goes beyond just your experience directly with our products. And so we want to think about broadening that out beyond that to also how you learn about our products, how you uh, educate yourself, and how you connect with others. So I want to talk about your experience with the resources that we provide you to be successful and how we're investing in that to improve that over time. Now I've spoken with hundreds of developers over the past couple of years in all different parts of the globe. And as I've spoken with uh, many of you, I've been able to kind of outline a flow of when you're encountering a problem or troubleshooting something, there's a typical set of actions that you like to take. Um, and so the first thing that you notice is that developers like to solve problems on their own. Go straight into the code, maybe check out some documentation. And as you see, like the more time goes on and the more people have to be included in this process, the more frustrating of an experience that can be. And time and time again with conversations with developers, that same flow kind of has, has shown a, a true pattern here. Um, so there's two areas in particular that we've been focused on over the past couple of years that I'd like to highlight. First, developers want to be able to search for and quickly find the issue online. The path of least resistance would be to search on something like Google or Bing, hopefully find the problem already documented there and a solution presented. And then secondly is the majority of developers that I spoke to talked about how they wanted something like Stack Overflow, where they could talk to other developers within the community to help solve each other's problems um, together. And so these are areas that we've been investing in, and I'd like to highlight that approach with you. First, with the issue of finding things online. To tackle the issue of searching for topics online, there's three incredibly valuable resources that I'd like to highlight for you. We're going to talk about documentation, our education portal, and our developer site. So in our developer trends and insights report that Evelina talked about earlier, the majority of respondents indicated that technical documentation is the most preferred online learning resource. And Guidewire documentation is available online at docs.guidewire.com with thousands of articles to help you find what you need. When you go there online, you will see some thumbs up and thumbs down icons that's an area for you to provide active feedback on whether that article is helpful or what additional information we could provide you to be helpful. And uh, there'll be a comment box that you can add those comments. And like Evelina talked about, our information experience team actively reviews all of those comments and is always looking for opportunities to improve. 
Now, in terms of searching for these things online, we are expanding more and more of that documentation to be public so that you don't have to log in to access some critical information. And more and more of your colleagues can do that too. In fact, an anecdote that we talked about in some of our feedback sessions, even last year, is that many developers end up downloading a PDF version of the documentation just so that they can share it with other colleagues who don't have access. Okay, there's no one here who's gonna make you in trouble, but just show of hands, who's done that? Yeah, yep. So when we hear that, we see that as an opportunity for us to help you. And that's a big reason why we make some more of our documentation available online to access publicly without having to log in. We did that first with our API references for our cloud API. And then just recently, we launched an integration basics course on documentation for you to read through and complete some of the tasks all on your own without having to log in. And we'll continue to push this and, and find more and more areas that we can make public so that you can access them easier and find them with searching online. The second thing is our education portal. And as Evelina already showed in the initial um, insights report, this is uh, definitely directly correlated with the satisfaction of Guidewire career opportunities available in the market. So those who don't have any uh, certifications at all reported a less than average score of career satisfaction, while those who had any kind of Guidewire certification had generally a higher uh, level of career satisfaction with opportunities available. And this also aligns with some of the feedback that I've heard directly with managers who say certification is an opportunity for professional growth to show that you're ready and you're maturing and you're ready for additional uh, uh, roles and responsibilities as well as hiring managers who say when they see certification on a resume, it's almost an instant guarantee for an interview because they know that you've already passed a certain level of knowledge and expertise. So certification paths are available on education.guidewire.com for developers. <clears throat> we have a lot of paths available for integration, configuration, um, and insurance suite as a whole. We also have Guidewire Cloud training courses available for insurance now developers and we are looking and exploring more opportunities for certification for insurance now developers too. Okay, then third in this list of looking for things online, I'd like to highlight developer.guidewire.com. This is where developers can go to learn, connect, and grow. This is a site that we've curated specifically for developers. I like to call it the front page of Guidewire for developers, where we provide quick links to documentation, new blog posts, product announcements, events, things like that to help you understand all that you need to know and so that you don't have to go hunting for different resources in different places. We also highlight the new and best training courses available for developers, including updating courses every time we have a new ski release. So I'd like to take a moment um, now to just show you a quick site tour. Just another show of hands, who's been to developer.guidewire.com? Awesome. Wonderful. And then we can show the screen here. Awesome. So this is developer.guidewire.com. I'm just going to show you three quick pages to give you an example of what we're talking about. So Advanced Product Designer, we launched this page last year. This gives you an overview of what the benefits are for developers and how it works. But then we also have these quick uh, action links that take you straight to if you want to start building with APD, Here's the technical documentation that you need. Here's the access to the Go products on our marketplace, so you can start downloading those. And then here are the relevant education courses for advanced product designer. And then we also have some additional information about if you're dealing with an existing line of business. That's a, a pretty common topic that we talk about as people make the transition to Guidewire Cloud. Here's a guide to help you specifically understand how to do that within our documentation. I also talked about our uh, APIs and how those are publicly accessible as well. Uh, this is just a page that gives you an overview of what you can do with our insurance suite cloud API and then gives you a quick shortcut of getting to the claim center APIs, the policy center APIs, the billing center APIs, and it goes straight to documentation. You'll notice I didn't log in to get access to that. So it's another example of, of some of the public documentation that we have. 
And then finally, as you heard on the main stage today, Jutro Digital Platform has, uh, will be generally available with Innsbruck. And so we've got a new page to talk about that, especially for developers. We're going to talk about some of the pain points you might be feeling in digital development, what Jutro does, what the benefits are for you, and how it can help you in your development cycles. And then when Innsbruck becomes available at the beginning of December, this page will be updated with the access to the documentation that you need, the courses that we have that you can take to get yourself up to speed. So you definitely want to bookmark this page and come back when we um, release Innsbruck. OK, and with that, we can go back to the slides. Uh, but that's just a quick snapshot of uh, our developer site and some of the resources that you can find there. And again, there's an opportunity for you to provide feedback. Um, you can, there's an email address that you can send an email to and tell us if you're missing some information or if you need an update. And we'd be happy to do that for you. OK, let's also talk about how to level up your developer experience with our community. Now, if you recall in that troubleshooting flow that I showed earlier, I talked about searching for issues online, but I also talked about the desire to ask questions to other developers in the community. In 2022, we did a sense of community survey with developers, and 93% of our developer audience said that a peer-to-peer -peer community is either important or extremely important. So we got the message and we understood, and many of the comments that came through in that result as well told us, I wish I had something like Stack Overflow. I wish I had something like Stack Overflow. And so we thought for about a year, well, maybe we should build something like Stack Overflow. And then after a little while, we thought, wait, why are we trying to build Stack Overflow when there's Stack Overflow, right? So that's all about to change. Um, and I'm really excited to announce that based on that request, Guidewire is now on Stack Overflow. So I want to encourage you to use this as a peer-to-peer -peer public forum for Guidewire developers helping each other learn and grow, asking questions, posting answers. There will be Guidewire team members there who are happy to engage and participate in the conversation, uh, so you can verify answers and see that we're there as part of the conversation. But this uh, doesn't guarantee that we're going to answer every single question that's posted. Uh, it's a peer-to-peer -peer community, so we need your involvement too. And this doesn't re, uh, replace our traditional customer support path. Support tickets are still the important way to go if you're dealing with an urgent issue and need our direct help. But what we're really hoping to do is encourage you all to get to know each other more and spend time interacting with each other, helping each other out, and really fostering some innovation in the PNC industry. There's an opportunity here for you as well to gain your recognition for your own deep level of product experience and product knowledge. Now, I know I talked about that survey and how 93% want a peer-to-peer -peer community. Uh, when we also read through the comments in that, we also understood that people said that they don't really feel seen or known in the, the broader Guidewire community. And I think I'm looking for as many opportunities as I can to help change that. And one of those opportunities is right here, right now. So before we go on and go into more of the things that I'm excited to tell you, I want to encourage us to kind of break that mold. I'm going to ask all of you to stand up and turn to somebody by you, either behind you or in front of you, and just simply say, hello, it is nice to see you. I'm glad you're here. OK, so stand up. Nice to see you. This is great. Okay, great job, everyone. Wonderful. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Brave. You know that just that just warms my heart truly to see people connecting. Um, <laughs> I'm sure the introverts in the room hated that, and I'm sorry, <laughs> but 
we really do need to have to put ourselves uh, out there to start breaking those, um, those challenges that we have of getting to know each other and having that kind of community. So I'm really thankful that you all did that and, and participated in that with me. I'm actually going to skip through, I think you all know uh, Stack Overflow enough, 80% of the world's software developers use it in a week, so yeah, it's pretty popular. Um, so you understand that you can go there, you can search for Guidewire, you will find answers posted. It's reputation based, so you're going to need to uh, take some time to actually engage, post some answers of your own as well, um, and start getting those votes going so that you can build your credibility score um, in the community. But I'm super excited for this. This has been stuff that we've heard about for the last year and a half. And so for us to be at this milestone is huge. Um, and it's thanks to your feedback that we get to do something like this. OK, the other thing that we do to help build connections and community is the developer advisory group. You heard Christina Colby talk about this on the main stage at today's keynote. And this has been a really fun experience for me as well. We launched this at the very beginning of 2022. And some of the benefits of being a part of this is that we do monthly virtual calls. This is an opportunity for us to have direct interaction with uh, developers and technical professionals who use Guidewire. We have on-premise customers, we have cloud customers, we have partner developers, we have customer developers. It's a real mix um, of, of folks from around the world who are involved in these conversations. And it's an opportunity to build those connections as well as solicit direct feedback on the direction of our products. And in fact, I think we have a few members of our developer advisory group here in the room. So just a quick show of hands of those who are part of that. Yes, awesome. Nice to see you all here. Great to see you in person. Um, this is a limited membership. It's, a, it's more of a, a limited group uh, just to help keep those conversations intimate and, and um, working uh, well. So membership is limited. We have about 40 members. We're going to cap it at 50. So some of you doing that quick math is we have some room for a few more. Um, there's some eligibility requirements to be involved. Uh, you do need to be certified. There is a time commitment that you have to make. It's about up to four hours every quarter. Um, and so if this is something that you're interested in, uh, I'd be more than happy to talk to you about this. But something that I would like to encourage you to do first is attend our in-person developer advisory group here at Connections. On Wednesday morning at 8.15, we're going to do an in-person version of what we do every month online. And so this will be Wednesday morning in Presidential Chamber Room B. And you can come and experience that. You don't have to meet the eligibility requirements. It's open for customer developers, partner developers. If you are a technical professional, you are welcome to come and join uh, the session. And then after that, if that's something that you're interested in being a part of going forward, I'll be there for you to talk to me afterwards as well. OK. I have just one more big announcement to make with regards to helping developers connect with each other. And that is, next April, we are going to host our first ever Guidewire Developer Summit, a two-day event exclusively for developers, and we're going to host it in Bengaluru, India. I'm going to hold for applause, because this is really exciting. <laughs> Developers will be able to attend to hear from members of our executive team, attend a deep dive workshop, and earn exclusive education badges and more. This is super exciting, and I know some of you are probably wondering, wait, India, not US? And yeah, that's because there's a lot of folks who are excited to be there, and this is our first one. So I'm really excited to host it there. And my goal, I'll just be perfectly candid and honest with all of you, I want to see this become an annual thing. But we need to make this first one a smashing success. And so I'm going to ask you to do something for me. If you have colleagues who are working in India, if you have partners who are working in India, if you have friends who are working in India and know Guidewire, please help get the word out. Let's make this a smashing success so that we can start to think about how to grow and expand it. Let's have it in different places around the world. Let's have it every single year. Let's make it big every single time. But we've got to make this first one a rousing success, and so I'm leaning on you to help me do that, OK? Plus, for any of our global developer audience who might not be able to make the trip to India, there will be an opportunity for you to participate in some virtual exercises and hackathons in the days leading up to the event. So we're going to try to make it a global event just with a two-day in-person um, experience as well, OK? Really excited about that and looking forward to it. 
If you want to stay in the know and get updates about that and many of these other things, including that insights report that we're going to release later this year, please subscribe to our developer newsletter. This isn't just a marketing newsletter. I've written marketing newsletters. I'm on the marketing team. Uh, I've done that before. This is a developer newsletter just for developers. Links to resources, blog posts, announcements, events, all of that stuff only for developers. So it's not going to be things that you don't care about. So please sign up for it. You'll get a newsletter every month. And it's your best way to stay up to date and in the know. OK, I'm going to hand it back to Evelina to talk about how to level up your experience here at Connections. OK, thank you, Jonathan, for that wealth of knowledge that you shared regarding our resources and community. So and thank you all for coming to this session. So here, starting today, you know, we kicked off the developer track, and there's a number of things that you learned that I do hope you take advantage of, because this is how you become more powerful with your career at Guidewire. So first of all, do sign up for our user feedback list. Again, that will help us build products that work even better for you. Visit the, visit the developer that guidewire.com website. Again, you're going to get a lot of really great content. You can learn how to get started with new tools, as well, well as hear about new, um, <clears throat> new announcements and get links to all those resources that we talked about. Join the discussion on Stack Overflow. You know, build up your reputation, have fun, and explore the different questions and answers that maybe don't show up in our documentation. But of course, our Guidewire technical documentation is the key source for you to tap into. So visit our docs.guidewire.com website. Subscribe to that developer newsletter. Again, that developer insights report is going to show up there soon. And so that will be an opportunity for you to be the first one to get the link and read through it. There's going to be lots of interesting information there. And you can kind of benchmark yourself against this community. So I think you will find some really great insights. And then. And um, probably most importantly, start your developer certification path if you haven't yet, um, or expand on it at education.guidewire.com. All right. And with that, we'd love to kick off the discussion. You can ask us any questions. And let's get this conversation going. Um, do we have someone out with a microphone? I'm not sure. Do we have a mic runner? If not, just raise your hand, and we'll call you out, and you can speak loud and clear. Go pilot. Copilot, talk to me about it. That's not a question, that's a statement, right? So. Well, if, if, if the statement doesn't make sense to you, the question won't either. <laughs> I'd love to hear it phrase. It's like an Alex Trebek moment. Uh, sorry, that's not form in the phrase of a question. So, okay. Yeah. So, Copilot is developer studio. Yeah. Uh, so, what you're interested in talking about is using Gen AI to help with uh, development of code. Is that right? Yep. I see those hands. Um, that is something that we are looking into. I think you saw on the main stage today there was hundreds of use cases of um, possible ways to implement Gen AI. And um, code generation was one of the bullet points, human in the loop code generation. So um, I'm not going to promise Copilot to you today, but uh, come by the product lodge. We have a kiosk about generative AI, and we have some demos that we can show you. Um, there's a Jutro themer um, that is a prototype right now uh, that involves some code generation um, and things like that. So yeah, if this is an area that's exciting to you, believe me, it's exciting to us as well. And we want you to be part of that conversation. So let's talk. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Add your own testing framework. Yes, we have a session, I believe, on that this week. Um, so. Piot, yep. across the aisle from you, uh, can probably give you a little bit more information. But yeah, we do have some things coming for that. This deck? Um, I don't know if the Connections team is making the decks available. But um, please feel free to come talk to me. I'm Immediately after this, I'm going to the next session to introduce it. Uh, but 3 p.m. at the Product Lodge, I'll be there. I really do hope you'll be there as well. It's not just to talk to me, but it's also to get to know each other. So let's do a little bit of a dev meet up there. Um, and yeah, I'd be happy to share more of the, the deck slides with you. Is there any conversations about reinstatement calculators where you can have something that a user writer can just tell a customer, like, oh, you're going to cancellate, and here's how much you owe us? 
Evelina on the product side? <laughs> um, to be honest, I'm not exactly sure about that, but maybe come by after and chat with me and I'll be happy to connect you to the right product manager in order to have that conversation. Will the Stack Overflow be publicly available or only to Guidewire customers through a Guidewire login, something like that? Yeah, great question. I'm glad you asked because it's important for us to know. It's fully public. So whatever you post on there, the entire world can see. And so we do have um, on that slide that Evelina showed with the QR code around Stack Overflow. Yeah, thank you. That, that is actually going to take you to a blog post on our developer site that gives you some guidelines about how to engage. Um, I know a question that as we talked with developers about this possibility, a question was like, well, what can we post publicly and what aren't we allowed to post publicly? So that'll give you some really good parameters of these are the types of questions that you can absolutely ask on Stack Overflow. And other questions like, why do you guys do things this way? Or I think I found a bug. How do I fix it? Those are more appropriate for either conversations with your customer success manager or alliance manager or a support ticket if it's an urgent issue. So go to that blog post, read through it, understand some of the guidelines. But yeah, it's a public forum, and I'm excited to see some of the conversations happening there. Hi there. Uh, when can we expect uh, you know retrofit APD work exactly you know uh, from the scratch APD implementation? <laughs> sure, Nicole is on the APD team, so she can answer that. Are you talking about building APIs to work on existing lines, or are you talking about a, a full migration into a, yeah. Um, so we do not have a time frame yet, but, um, but we are working on it. Um, Guidewire product is working on it, and it's on the roadmap. Um, so I can't promise you anything now, but we do hear you. We hear your customers, and we know that it's a really important thing. So we're working on it. Yeah, and I just use that to reinforce, um, come to the, the Guidewire product lodge where we have kiosks for many of these specific products. And um, you, we all have more of an in-depth conversation with our staff there uh, to talk about that. Yeah. All right. OK, we are ready to wrap up, yeah? Yep. All right. So we want to say a huge thank you to you. Thank you for being here at the developer kickoff. Um, again, you know, take the time to get to one another. We're really happy with the privilege of getting to see you here um, and meet you, and we look forward to seeing you at the product lodge. And then, of course, you're here in Nashville. There's going to be an amazing party. There's going to be amazing sessions. So have an amazing freaking time. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.